Let's do something today. Well, what you want to do? I don't know. It's almost Valentine's Day. So? Let's shoot something. Shoot something? Yeah, let's shoot something. Let's shoot a heart. What you want to shoot a heart with? Oh, I know. Go get me them 68 caliber rubber balls. Hmm? The big one? He is the big one. Okay. Oh. All right. Here. What is this useless piece of crap? Here. Abracadabra. Oh. Is this what you meant for 68 caliber rubber ball? All right, well now let's go find a heart. Well, it's a good thing I prepared me one of these. Good day, folks. Buongiorno a tutti, amici. Bonjour a tout le monde. Buenos dias a todos. Salam a pagi taman taman. Ni hao tashi tele. Salam aleikum. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Well, on February 7th, 2022, a few days before Valentine's Day, thus that intro you just saw, um, I was about to film a video with my HDS 68 when I went to puncture the CO2 cartridge and basically all the air just rapidly would shoot out inside the gun, would be released entire, and it's all in, and it's entirely inside the gun. Um, so what I did is I did open it up just to see if there was something obvious that I could notice to fix. Uh, that was not the case. So I contacted the seller. Now I had bought this on eBay via a store that is called uh, Action Village. Uh, which is a fantastic store, by the way. But we'll get that. To, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I contacted the shop, and they said, "Sorry, uh, th it, this was literally 35 days or 45 days after I had bought it." And they said, "I'm sorry, the, the 30 day period uh, warranty period went by. Please send your gun to Umarex." Uh, so I contacted Umarex directly. By the way, I'm sorry to say, but it's really the worst customer service, the rudest customer service, especially the, uh, the Umarex in the United States. Again, I'm really sorry to say, but that was indeed my experience. Um, so I did uh, contact, it, contact Umarex, who kind of shooed me away for a while for the first two or three emails I sent. At the fourth email, I guess they were exasperated uh, with me. So they said, sure, just send us the gun. Um, I did send them the gun and one week later they sent it back to me exactly as I had sent it to him broken with no note with no anything reason being is that Umarex will not fix nor return nor uh, any anyway. Umarex will not help you out if your gun has been modified so it is a bit of a catch-22 situation because you, if you go back to your store where you bought it, the store will send you to Umarex, Umarex will send you back to the store, and thus, in my case, two and a half months went by. Um, I finally begged uh, the actual store, uh, the um, Action Village, uh, not, the, not the online uh, eBay version, but the actual store, I begged them to help me out and they were kind enough to actually finally uh, send me a new gun. So here we are with a new HDS 68, uh, ready to film a bunch of videos because I have a ton of projectiles that you guys sent me that need to be shot. And today's 68 caliber projectiles are going to be these metal uh, plastic French made, really cool, uh, solid looking uh, slugs made by invented.fr. Uh, uh, I was chatting with, uh, with the maker, uh, Cyril, uh, over in France where he said he has not found a name yet for these slugs um, so if you do have any ideas do put them down in the comment as I'm sure he would appreciate suggestions on what to call these bad boys and then secondly oh look at these guys these are fierce looking um, I do not know much about these uh, I know they are made in Germany they're German made um, they look like a combination of like an, you know, those ear, when you go to the doctor and they look into your ear and they have those disposable things, uh, you know, the part that goes into your ear, uh, with this 
cool spear looking pointy metal uh, points. Weight wise, these slugs, perfect number, 420 grams. While our pointy ones should be a lot lighter than that. In fact, around 273, let's check another one. 255, so over two and a half gram. Today's targets are gonna be these two and a half gallon water jugs that will catch the bullets during the chronograph test. Of course, two coconuts for a hard surface test, a five pound metal can of white hominy, this red heart made out of dough, and of course, our final target, our impenetrable uh, mannequin. Uh, let's see if with the 68 caliber and these pointy projectiles, we can finally put a hole in them. So let's start with our French made metal plastic 68 cal slugs. I remind you that uh, this HDS is the 16 joules version. And let's see how it goes. All right, I have to check again if the chronograph actually uh, measured all the bullets. I shot four. Um, as you see, they all entered. Let's see the other side. Oh, wow. They definitely tried to come out the other side. I don't think they did. But that is indeed uh, very powerful, great damage. I mean, once, once the projectiles actually make a hole on the other side or do penetrate, that means um, that they are indeed very effective. All right, error message, but we saw these went a lot faster, 380 uh, feet per second. A bit of penetration here as well. I will have to rewatch the footage to see what happened there, but indeed there was penetration, um, undoubtedly. I mean, with those points, with those pointy uh, metal uh, spears, I would not doubt otherwise. We apologize for interrupting the program, However, this message is to let you know that if you do click the like button on this video, YouTube will actually share it to more people, which is a great thing for everybody. Well, this is actually quite baffling, guys. Um... I know I missed for sure one of the shots. I shot four. Um, three of them should have hit the coconut. But as you see, there's absolutely no damage. How is that possible? 16 joules, 68 caliber, metal plastic. Very, very strange. Um, I have very few projectiles left. So uh, if I have extra, I'll come back to this later. Um, but let's try the pointy projectiles on it. And once again, I am baffled. I told you these coconuts were really, really hard. Um, it is very strange though, because with our 50 caliber, 11 joules power, we obliterated a bunch of these in the past. So this is very strange. The only suspicion I have is that uh, I entirely missed the coconut with all the shots that I shot, which is eight times for those projectiles, for uh, those. So look, if I have any left, after the, the next two experiments, I'll shoot the coconut again because this is really, really too strange. Anyway, let's go to our uh, five pound uh, metal can.
All right, that is much better. Uh, we did penetrate this metal can with these slugs. Uh, before the water comes out, let's try the pointy ones. Well, that is a lot more like it. Um, I don't know what happened to the second one. It was cool how the first one stuck in. I'm gonna have to rewatch the slow-mo. Um, but great deal of damage, I must say, on this. Guys, allow me a quick minute for a personal message. Uh, I've been making these videos for several months now and I feel like I've befriended a lot of you. And so I wanna tell you a little bit about me, but mainly a little bit about why I'm wearing this suit. So in the real world, in real life, I am actually a news cameraman. I've been one for more than 15 years uh, and I was based in Southeast Asia for uh, 12 years until 2018. Uh, anywhere from Myanmar, Burma, all the way down to Indonesia where I lived for the past seven years. I covered a lot of conflict, extreme poverty, uh, natural disasters, but I also did cover a lot of uh, natural photography. I shot with the camera uh, orangutans, uh, ex almost extinct din uh, rhino rhinos, um, uh, black, black macaques, a bunch, a bunch of cool animals. And I have to say, it would have been very, very helpful if I had one of these uh, with me. Uh, this is, as you can see, a camouflage suit. It was sent to me by Kyle Booker. Um, they love to send me stuff and I love to receive their stuff. Um, as you'll see from, uh, in their website, they make uh, a ton of cool outdoor uh, sports uh, attire and, 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 and stuff. I mean, they also make, uh, as you saw in my previous videos, um, great holsters as well. Uh, so thank you so much, Kyle Booker, for sending me this. Again, uh, this is a, a, a camouflaged, uh, suit for for a bunch of uh, for a whole variety of, of things you can do out there uh, in my case this would have been very helpful for wildlife photography all right guys so I only have five of these left that were sent to me for test um, and we have two more tests to do we have the arm impenetrable uh, mannequin and our play-doh heart which is purely for visuals so I'm just gonna shoot two of these on the heart hopefully it'll go well so I can have three for our mannequin. Well, I honestly thought this was gonna explode. Instead, it's simply absorbed. <laughs> all right, guys, we are down to the last target, the king of all Aragon Alley targets our impenetrable mannequin. Um, hopefully our 68 caliber will indeed penetrate it or at least put a hole in it. Um, as you see, I have my mask, as I told you last time, because projectiles do tend to seriously bounce back from this guy. So uh, as many of you suggested me to get better protection, I did, I'll be wearing this. Um, let's see what happens. Look at that, we finally have a winner. I know it was a bit obvious, um, but indeed our pointy projectiles did go in. Uh, not so much the French made uh, round ones, but look at that, they did make probably the, uh, the deepest uh, dent so far, but the pointy ones did go in. This one actually penetrated all the way in. In fact, uh, in fact, I think it came down, yeah, right here. There we go. So this one penetrated all the way. Um, as you see, the, the, the pointy part came out of the bottom, which is hollow, while this one is still stuck in there. Good stuff. Well, guys, I was able to savage two of the slugs, the last two. So I do want to go back to the coconut one last time. Um, let's do it at close range, just to make sure that I don't miss um, because it really did not go down with me. The fact that this coconut didn't explode. 
very close range, guys. I hope this doesn't bounce. You kidding me? Look at that. There is a bit of a crack. Wait, there is a bit of a crack. There's some hope. Let's try the second slug. And we finally have a crack from two feet away. We have a crack. This is very strange. Uh, welcome to the odds of making videos on slugs. We finally cracked it though. I guess that's good. We have finally uh, reached our final conclusion. One thing I forgot to mention is that uh, invented.fr also sends you these cool stickers um, with the slugs, which are cool because they go around the little uh, piercing valve uh, of your T40 guns. Um, anywho, pointy projectile versus round projectile. Um, pretty cool. They're both pretty cool. Uh, we got a winner, actually, officially, we have a winner. Uh, uh, which finally put a hole in our mannequin. Uh, very surprised on why they didn't really affect the coconut. That is just crazy. As, as I said before, we shot 50 caliber, much smaller caliber projectiles uh, with a weaker power and they obliterated the coconuts. This guy, as you saw, we had to get really close to it to have the same effect. So that is very strange. However, they did put a hole in the metal can and uh, you know, pretty much did the damage they were supposed to do with the other targets. Very good dent in the mannequin as well. I'm surprised by these guys because uh, this plastic, this is a very light plastic. They feel very flimsy. I mean, not flimsy, I mean, they, 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 are, they, they are solid. Uh, they just feel light. They feel like they will smash against the uh, object as soon as it hits it but that was not the case they have been very very powerful um they they pretty much matched this slug which is a lot a lot uh harder plastic uh just feels more solid in general um however again these did a great job uh, as well so sorry i don't speak in deutsch so i cannot say anything in german but uh well done well guys as always thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for liking the video if you did indeed like the video and to subscribing to the channel if you indeed like the video. I will see you next week. Stay tuned. I have a ton more uh, peacocks to interrupt me, but also a ton more of slugs to shoot. Uh, so do stay tuned.